thanks for joining us. Coach, we'll open up with a quick statement, and then we'll open up to questions. Well, it is good to see everybody. Um, it's always a great time of year, headed into to spring practice. You know, just the opportunity to work with these guys on the day-to-day, -day and really our, our focus is completely on ourselves, uh, whether we're implementing a new scheme or two. Obviously, each player trying to dive into their craft and get better and improve, compete a little bit. Um, but it's great in regards to that's what I'm saying. You're focused on yourselves, maybe not a an opponent like you are in the fall. Um, I definitely think we're ready for it. These guys did an awesome job in the winter, in the weight room. Uh, keep saying it, Mike McDonald does, and his staff do a, f a phenomenal job with our guys. And guys got bigger, faster, stronger. We kind of ended with the what we call the Beaver Combine last week, and that was fun to see those guys go out and test and compete a little bit. And and we've got some improvement in a lot of ways, numbers. Uh, on that end. So it was a, a great few months, and I know our coaches are excited to get get coaching these guys again. Uh, you know, we are going to start Thursday, do a couple this week, and then about four practices next week leading into then finals and spring break. So we'll, we won't practice then so they can fo focus on finishing well in the classroom, and then obviously everybody gets a little bit of break in the spring and then finish a, a few weeks in April. Uh, we will be using mostly uh, the practice field this first two weeks because you guys can see the progress continuing on completing Research Stadium. I get a front row view of that out my window, and it's just impressive to see those guys work and how much has gotten accomplished already. Um, and so we'll let them keep on working there for a couple weeks, but we will try to get in there in April a little bit to, to practice and things. Um, got a couple of new additions to staff that we're really excited about, uh, Anthony Perkins, coming over to uh, help out Coach Blue in the secondary, Coach our corners. Um, know a lot of guys that he's worked with, and he's been impressive since he's been here over the last few weeks. Uh, I know the guys are excited about uh, working with him and the details on the, on the back end there. Also, uh, Cole Moore coming on as our direct player personnel. Uh, actually, we worked a little bit with Cole when he was just for, first getting started. We both were at the University of Washington together, uh, spent some time at Montana State, and really, I feel – Helped to build a roster over there that you can see the last couple of seasons at Montana State winning a bunch of games. And then uh, most recently here coming from the University of Texas, which uh, we've got a bunch of connections there with coaches and things. So uh, fired up that he's on board, already making a difference here and just in the short time he's he's been here. Uh, uh, a couple of guys stand out at first look at Dylan Lopez and Damian Martinez. So those will be our two freshman uh, scholarship players that will be, be with us during the spring. Uh, both help us miss on offense, and so anxious to see those guys get out and about. They've had a great couple of months in the weight room and getting acclimated, uh, but fired up with, with those guys. Um, overall, health-wise, I know I might get a question or two on that. Uh, we feel pretty healthy. Just like any spring, we're going to try to be really smart with guys that anything lingering uh, with them that we might limit them in some fashion, but ultimately, you know, like the quarterback thing, Jebby and Goldbranson, feeling – Confident those guys will be out there and, and taking reps and, and competing. Anxious to see both of them again uh, because obviously they had some setbacks injury-wise that have, that have limited them. Uh, but overall, I, I feel as a roster, the amount of depth we got coming into this spring feels really good. Every position, we've got guys that have played or coming back. Anxious to see some guys that are on the younger side, haven't played as much to take a step in their game. And they'll get the, the opportunity to do it in spring practice. So. Uh, should be competitive, offense versus defense. We will emphasize some special teams. We got really all our specialists that have played uh, returning with Dylan and um, Luke and obviously um, the kicking situation uh, as well. So, you know, feel good with the depth we've got um, with all of that. Questions? Coach, I'll start with another injury question. Um, on the defensive side, Isaac Hodgins and Jaden Robinson, are they going to be good to go? Both of them in a limited fashion. Uh, Jaden will get more than, than Hodge. Hodge uh, is still you know, working through some things, but he'll, he's played a lot of football, and we want to be extra careful and smart that he's full, full go before he does too much. And with, with the schedule, you've got you know, the, the two-week break again this year in the middle. Do you kind of prefer to have it that way, or would you rather, you know, if you could, do – a five weeks right. you know, in a row. We, I think there's good and bad to both. Uh, we looked at it a little bit for not just spring practice, but also the recruiting period after when's the right time to be finishing so our coaches can get on the road. Um, you know, I think there is some p benefit to get started, get a couple of weeks in, and then everyone can take a, a deep breath, also digest what we've done in two weeks for our coaches to be able to look at it and then, you know, tweak or make some different implementations 
implement some different things for the final three weeks instead of just going five straight. Um, we've done it this way a couple of times, um, and so all of that went into, yeah, let's get started. Besides today's weather of getting started, looking at that. A couple more injury uh, updates. Um, how's Alton Julian coming along in his recovery? Alton won't be. He's he's coming along great, uh, but his timeline won't allow him to do a whole lot during during spring ball. And then any update on Addison Gums? No, no current update on on Addison. And then uh, just going back to what you mentioned about Anthony Perkins, did you kind of feel like you needed to bring in a, kind of a new set of eyes to the secondary? And what will kind of be the differences be between Blue's role and Anthony's right. role? Right. You know, we did, we obviously once we decided uh, Coach Bray was going to head the defense up. We've had a, multiple conversations, and you just look at defense and how many DBs have played in the game. Five of them oftentimes felt like an additional help to Coach Blue there. Um, and it's not just the coaching of the play, but you've got to recruit that and obviously the development off, off of campus. There's just a lot, of, a lot of players in the DB room. And so now dividing it up with two experts, uh, Coach Blue will still do a lot with overall secondary, and then Anthony will be able to lock in more on the corners when they separate. Um, and so what that ramifications then gets down to the linebacker position where Trent adds some more guys into his room. And obviously Coach Lange, a couple of those guys will – We'll go with Coach Lange. And we just felt like that was the best way to divide it up. Um, and so pursued a, a secondary corners coach and really pleased that we were land a, able to land Coach Perkins. Jonathan, were you looking for a chance to make the biggest leap in his game? Yeah we, yeah, we studied a lot of this over the last couple of months. Um, there's some opportunities to uh, complete a few more deep balls. So our accuracy on the deep throw has been something we've talked about. I think... He made a great jump from his first time kind of playing a couple years ago to this last year. And if he can make that same type of jump, um, we'll feel really good about it. Uh, it's not as easy. A guy that gets a little more experience to truly improve, you know, junior, senior year versus how the improvement can take place from freshman to a sophomore. But we're still counting on him uh, taking a huge step uh, in his game. Overall command, actually on the deep ball. Um, and getting more and more comfortable at the line of scrimmage in regards to checking plays and doing things that. And I, I know you mentioned the, re, the recent re renovations, but other than where you will actually be practicing and having that limited, has, is that something you address with the guys at all in the spring? Is it kind of even pointless to, or is there any point to addressing that, uh, what the season's going to look like there? Or? Yeah, we won't dive t quite to the season, talking about it during spring ball, but I think, I mean, they see it outside the player lounge every day, too. They got a visual of it, and I think it just is another sign of progression where this program's going, the athletic department's going, they're excited about hearing them the amenities and fan base were excited about it. So uh, it's all positive, uh, but we won't dive into the details of how it'll affect home games in the fall quite yet. To this roster, um, when you look at this roster right now, what position groups give you the most confidence as you enter spring practice? Yeah, like starting on defense in the secondary, we got a lot of guys that are returning starters. On the back end, there should be some competition to get on the field because we, you know, we've got eight, nine guys that have more or less been, been starters. And then when Jaden gets himself healthy again, he'll add into that mix. So I feel we got some real depth there. Inside linebacker again is going to be really competitive. You know, Omar's coming back and been overly productive for us, but you got, you know, Coletto and Easton in there and Kyrie and John Miller and what he did on special teams last year, that's going to be competitive. We got depth there. Uh, I think at the receiver position, again, uh, we did lose a couple of good players from last year with Bradford graduating, but we've got eight or nine guys that have played a lot of snaps there at wideout. Um, and so that'll be competitive and we got, we got depth. Obviously in the running back thing with BJ leaving, just like college football, you're always going to be replacing guys, but we got a couple backs with Trey and uh, you know, that have played, but we're also anxious to see some of these uh, younger guys go in the spring. Jonathan, how excited are you to see, and how? what do you sense Trent Bray with his hands on the defense? He made a change midway through the year, but now yeah. he's had his, his own chance to, to really look at it. What are your thoughts about Trent Bray as a D coordinator with this group? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, like you mentioned, it was a midseason kind of change, and now he can really put his imprint on – on making some changes and implementing the, the style. The schematics aren't dr dramatically different, um, but he had some strong opinions on where we wanted to go. I'm not going to dive into all, all of that, but um, – and just in, and watching his energy at practice, and I think him and that defensive staff have been meeting quite a bit, especially those last few weeks getting ready for spring ball. So, uh, you know, his first opportunity to really dive in and be the coordinator, I, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. 
you may have already answered this with the Addison Gums answer, but if they're on the on the roster, are they? Can, do we assume that they're uh, eligible to play? Yeah, well, if they're passing the classes, you know, yeah. finals is coming in a couple right, weeks. But right. yeah, currently, uh, outside of that one, yeah. And also, is the sample size of, of has there been enough time in with this whole transfer portal thing to figure it out and and learn this is how you how you use it? You've done been very successful with it. How do you feel about this at this point in time? Right. You know, I think each year is going to be different. Um, one is just your roster size, and you got 85 scholarships, and you got to manage those. Well, we've got a lot of guys returning, so that led lessen the opportunity to to add to your roster that way. Um, so. Each offseason can be different. Um, it's always open uh, in regards to I think it's great for college athletes in general to uh, be able to choose the opportunities where they want to spend their, their eligibility. And so it's ever-changing. But for this current offseason, we didn't have the type of departure to, that would allow us to uh, sign a lot out of the portal. Is there a new level of confidence going into this spring considering <laughs> – the success you had last year coming off, going to a bowl game, obviously it wasn't the result you wanted, but is there a, a, a new look kind of approach or, or confidence in this team going into this spring ball? You know, I think they, yeah, I'm sure there's added confidence, but uh, we'll, we, we'll remind them, and they're aware that this thing takes a lot of hard work, and each year is new, just like we've been saying in the previous years that each year is new just because what took place before doesn't guarantee anything. And so, um, but look, I think if these guys keep working like they did in January, February, diving into now football during March and April, we'll continue to improve. And with the talent and depth we got back, continuity of scheme, feel confident that we can put something special together. Yeah, well, hopefully it can affect the quarterback, you know. Uh, did a lot of that during fall when he was just practicing, you know, against that. And uh, so excited for him to be able to get now truly with the defense and running with the ones and twos and, and get some reps, explosive. Had a good off offseason, uh, continued to change his body. So he's one of those guys that, yeah, a true opportunity now. He hopefully can help us affect the quarterback. I imagine you'll probably hold a pro day here in the next month or so. Do you have an idea of who might participate in that? We will definitely hold a pro day. Um, I'm probably going to miss a few names, but obviously with Eldridge and Noose and Bradford and Teagan, um, I, I'm sure we got a few others. I think it's at the end of this month. The 31st is uh, is where we're headed for, for the pro day. What was the connection with Coach Perkins? Was there a past relationship? Well, full story, Dirk Cutter, he worked with them at Tampa Bay Bucks. I've gotten to know Coach Cutter a little bit there. He actually interviewed with us when we hired Blue and did a really good job. Um, but at that time, it felt like Blue was the best fit. And so once this opportunity came, we went right back to him. And, um, yeah, he was, he was what we were looking for.